there. That's it. That's him. Ah, uh, comrades, what's going on? This video is a gloating video, because, as always, we fucking tell you people this stuff, and you, you refuse to listen to us, you make all sorts of arguments as to why not, and then when the real experts come in and say what we told you, all of a sudden, shit's real. Now, what we told you was personal wealth and how the economy is kicking up. Now... We told you the economy is doing good, people's pocketbooks, their wallets are getting fatter. The stock market proved us right. You know, we're getting out of, we're not really out, completely out, we're getting out of recession. And now there's economists out there and like, everybody says, well, where's your proof? Use your fucking search bar for, for once. Don't rely on me to do your fucking work for you. I'm giving you fucking facts. Read a fucking newspaper. Economists are telling us that thanks to the stock market rally, you know, it helped the, the U.S. households, you know, with, with more money. Because, like, well, it makes sense. If businesses have more money to spend and invest more money in their business, more jobs, more jobs equals more spending power. More spending power means people buy houses. More houses equal more jobs. It's cyclical. Another word for you. Now, the Great Recession, you know, people lost a little bit of their chunk of their change. But now they're trying to say, like, what, what's happening now, they probably, people that really lost a good chunk of their change probably haven't lost as much now. They're probably maybe a fourth. So, their wallets are getting fatter. Like, we've seen this. Like, I ain't gonna lie. Like, I, I, by the grace of God, Yahweh, I lie, I still have my job, I ain't gonna lie. They pull some bullshit, but I'm smart than the average bear. You know, the economy, you know, the economists, like they raised the forecast for the first quarter in 2013, you know, and this is in spite of like the federal budget cuts as they're going on. They're still saying we're still rallying, so. No, it didn't, I've seen this, I, I spent a little. I wasn't going crazy with it because, like I said, you got miles of feed. You can't really go ape shit with it. But we've seen people out there spending like this 1999. People still buying their houses, still buying their boats, taking their vacations, you know, still doing what they do. But let me tell you something. What I've noticed also, depends on where you're from. If you're from like a depressed area or an area that lost a lot of jobs, shit like this, you're, you're used to it. It's ingrained in you. Like I said, I was born in Brooklyn, lived there for a minute, then we moved to Pittsburgh. And like in like in all, the whole that area, like northeast of the Midwest, it's the Rust Belt. They call it the Rust Belt. They don't call it the Rust Belt for no reason. People lost jobs. And during that time you had to do what you had to do to survive. Some of us did work, some of us went to the streets, some of us did whatever. But at the end of the day, the ones who survived from this, like survived out of this. If it happens again, you adapt to it. I like it whenever you got like I live in the city now where it's not real bad. The recession really didn't hit this city like people think they do. And like a lot of this in a lot of the city, they like cry like they from the bottom. Let me tell you something about this city. A lot of the people here ain't from the bottom. This city has it real nice where I'm at, and I can't complain because I've been blessed. So I keep, we keep telling you people, well, keep watching our videos because we, we ain't lying to you people. You may not like, let me put it, it's not that you don't like the message. You just don't like the messenger. So, I'm out. I'm out. Peace. There. That's it. That's him.